Arkansas State Senator Jason Rayford is among a group of lawmakers who are working to pass laws that could potentially stop people from crossing state lines to get abortions. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker tells us why he thinks this legislation is needed and how others against it are speaking up. Senator Jason Rapert, who is a Republican representing Conway, is also the president of the National Association of Christian Lawmakers. The group is working on legislation across the country that would go after what he calls woke corporations that are trying to spend money creating an abortion tourism industry. We are not trying to prevent women from being able to cross state lines for health care. That's, that's fine. We are also not, not targeting and criminalizing women at all. What we're doing is going after people that are trafficking individuals for the purposes of an abortion. Rapert says we have laws that prevent people from taking a minor across state lines and trafficking. He says they are looking at this bill to be a Texas-style civil cause of action that would give individuals the ability to sue someone for aiding and abetting someone to get an abortion. I have been contacted by people all over the country uh, that want to ensure that we stop these corporations from using shareholder funds illegally. Shareholder funds are not meant to be used to pay for abortion trafficking. In fact, it's pretty sinister in my opinion. Senator Greg Letting is a Democrat who represents Fayetteville. He says trying to penalize anyone who is trying to cross state lines to get health care is outrageous and insulting. I think companies that have stepped up to say that they will pay for expenses for their employees to travel to get the health care they need is admirable. Um, and it's up to those companies. And I don't think they would do it if they didn't think it was in the interest of their shareholders. Letting says referring to people driving across state lines to get an abortion as trafficking is a disservice to the cause to fight actual human trafficking. And to co-inflate these issues is insulting. I think legislation like this is horribly reckless and again it should be chilling because if they're willing to do this what else are they willing to do and I don't want to sound alarmist but you know until lawmakers face uh, electoral consequences for advancing dangerous ideas like these I think they're going to try and so I would just hope that everybody's paying attention and and not dismiss some crazy idea because it's very likely that a lawmaker somewhere will try it. Covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Thanks, Catherine. There have been talks of a special session happening this summer, but if the governor does not call one, then this bill would not be introduced until the next legislative session in January. We reached out to Planned Parenthood Great Plains about the issue, and in a statement from President and CEO Emily Wells, she says in part, instead of a play for cheap headlines, we suggest that Senator Raper take time to listen to Arkansans who have survived sexual assault and trafficking. A government shouldn't dictate where individuals can travel, what care people can receive, or what personal decisions are best for those that they claim to serve. Meanwhile, Governor Asa Hutchinson says that he would not sign a bill like that into law. Here's what he said on CBS Mornings. The challenge there is that uh, that would be in violation of interstate commerce. Obviously, we right. want to discourage that because the public policy in Arkansas is to uh, limit abortions and to uh, carry out uh, the will of the people. And so uh, we recognize that that uh, is something that even the United States Supreme Court addressed in one of the concurring opinions that this is not intended to restrict interstate commerce.